way, way back. There's contact there between Dobby and Petrucci. How on earth did Alex Rins? Ring, something ring. Yang kering ya. Jadi kalau misalnya sudah dirasakan bahwa kondisi treknya sudah mulai mengering, ini tentunya akan menjadi race yang deg-degan nih, John. Deg-degan. Miller, bisa Dovi, sama... Miller nomor satu nih. Iya, Miller. So, warm up lap dan kita akan langsung saja bergabung dengan sirkuit Lombong untuk menyaksikan live race untuk kelas MotoGP. 30-year-old, he can be a weapon in the right conditions as well. Carly Zarco, he can. We know that the Ducati traditionally tiptoeing through those first couple of corners. Well, the four and a half thousand odd fan here, if it's going to be dry or wet. And Quattararo knows as well, Steve, the back of his mind will be the championship, but he's got some. Mac Miller, Cal Crutchlow is a really accomplished wet weather rider as well. Do not rule him out. I think this wet weather three here in Le Mans. These are conditions, in many respects, are tailor-made for Mark Martin. He revels in them. He is the flag-to-flag -flag maestro. First and foremost, let's hope for a safe race. Could be massive in terms of how this World Championship shapes up. That's how it looks right now. Quattro, eight clear. Simon Crayfire just saying it's completely stopped raining down in pit lane. We are potentially set for this. How quickly will this 4.1 kilometer iconic legendary Bugatti circuit our first wet start to a race since Valencia 2018 and it's just incredible Fabio Quattararo then the world championship leader ain't him and he's got his bike squatted he absolutely has this Absolutely swallowed up running to the first couple of quarters. That's brave by Quattararo on the inside of Cal Crutchlow. Then for Valentino Rossi. Miller's got a lightning start. He leads into La Chapelle, but he's wide. Fabio Quattararo is up into fifth as well. In fact, Dobby's third. He's now second. Andrea De Vizioso then moves up into second place. Inside the job right now on Fabio Quattararo. He was very, very brave to get on the inside of Cal Crutchlow given his lack of experience in race. See then out of Mazzano too. Out of Barcelona when he was on course for a podium and now he's been... One, two, three on the approach into turn nine. Miller from Petrucci, from Dovi. And the charge, he's already got himself inside that top ten. Oh, challenge for the lead there, Danilo Petrucci on Jack Miller. And one in Magello, he's third on the grid and leads here in France. The Catty have never won in Le Mans. The Catty have never locked out of three places here in France. Andy Smith just lunging up the inside of his teammate, Malaysia Spider in the and then trying to hunt down Petrucci. Pressure him into a mistake into turn number three. The Ducati's all confident. Polis Bargro there, that's a battle rage at the part of the fifth. Vinales had a disaster, yeah. he did. He's safe, thank you very much. He pounces, it's now a factory Ducati 1-2. Petrucci leading the way from the Vizio conditions in fourth. The World Championship leader. Where's his closest rival, Mia? Way down in 15th right now. Here, a shock start to this French Grand Prix. It's stopped raining. But it's of course wet on circuit. Energy Yamaha rider. Wow, Rossi Vinales, Alessio Spargaro, and Mia involved in that early shot. Oh, no, Rossi's, Rossi's, Rossi's lost, lost the rear. Underneath him. Oh, that's what happened to Vinales. Look, he got yeah. bumped up by Mia. No, no way to go. Although, to be fair, Vinales had a shocking. Time. Back at the front we go. Danilo Petrucci leads from Dovi Miller. Then it's Patrick Bayer. We're both on the podium with the Vizioso. They're strong in the rain conditions. Thomas Bargo just can't shake off. He's in seventh place. He's being chased now by fellow Brit Bradley Smith, who's reveling in these wet conditions. To that fourth spot. And in a moment, Fabio Quattro is going to see a Suzuki alongside him, and he might just momentarily. Not really having any major influence in this Grand Prix. Rings does get up the inside, of, inside the top five. Miguel Oliveira and Alex Marquez are going well. Guys, just wanted to let you know so I'm soft for years. Uh, Dobby, soft, soft, same as everyone else, soft, soft, until you get down. High choices in terms of the rain selection. Plus Fargo, a little bit twitchy on the KTM coming out the final corner. Can he get through it? The second corner, yes he can. Yeah. So Crotch low then now pushes Fabio Quattro back in the challenges. Plus Fargo moves up into fourth place. Brilliant from the Suzuki man who started 16th on the grid. Right now into La Chapelle. Good battle is between the two Spaniards. Jacques Crayfar now reporting spitting with rain again. 147.733. A couple of tenths quicker than De Vizioso. Bradley Smith going around the outside here. <laughs> Bad lap last time around, he did a 51.3. 
dropped him down to 20th place for the table for him so far with Quattararo just about clinging on to 7th. It's got one there following the dropping without trace. Maldadelli and Vinales are 18th and 19th and Quattararo. Yeah, no, he can just go for it, roll the dice. And what about Vizioso, of course? This is massive for the championship from Quattararo. Look oh, at that, Oliveira. Two in one, two in one. He's the suffering team, man. Yeah, Oliveira picked Fabio Quattararo. And look what it's doing, lap by lap, to the world championship. De Vizioso's name yeah. appears again. Thanks through on Morbidelli. Just behind them is Joao Mia, who's trying to get himself back in the points. 20, respectively. No one can touch these three at the moment. These three guys are all in the 146s. Nobody were a certain Mark Marquez, Esquire, Little Oak Petrucci and Andrea De Vizioso. So it's no great surprise that this in full wet conditions. And he's doing a great job there in third place as well. Miller and De Vizioso. As you can see, the graphic to the left, Quattararo there in 10th on 114 points as it stands. In fact, Miller looking like he wants to find a way through on Andrea De Vizioso at this moment in time. Much time left as well. These are going to be a very, very long 22 laps for these top three. Well, Ducati fans on the fan wall. I bet you're liking what you see so far. Across the line, the fastest minutes of a second quicker than Jack Miller, but there's almost three seconds there to try and bridge. Yeah, and there we go. Quattararo will have the number 20 in his sights as well. It's a Quattararo dumped out of the top 10. Likes of Vizioso and Miller at the moment. Get this, a young man who is as fast as the race lead, as quick as these three Ducatis. He said straight away in FP1 on Friday when it was wet. He couldn't believe how free bike hounding in the racing Bradley Smith. Thomas Bargro there in fifth. He's got former Tech 3 up in now on the start finish straight, but is there enough time for anything to dry? It doesn't look like it at this moment. He's just up ahead of number 73 of Alex Marquez and Miguel Oliveira. Quattararo then outside the top second. Bradley Smith, who was so good in those weight conditions, on think almost half a second quicker than Jack Miller ahead of him. Yeah, you just wonder, don't you, if those mediums do get, let's say, a drier line appear. You're not going to come in to change motorcycle stroke from the number 42. You can see Rinna's there nearly four tenths faster on that previous lap than race seconds to Briggs to get on the coattails of Jack Miller. He's well, well clear. He's broken this group. Polis Bargaro, crutch just in the background at the top of your picture there he's got into his groove far too late struggling, struggling still big style as Vinales Morbidelli and Mia they can't get anywhere near the 46 oh, right now like. from the number 73 the Moto2 world champion moves up into 7th place and through all of these conditions back with your top 3 and he's getting tight at the top the 3 Ducatis a couple of seconds clear of Jack and Alex Rins who again fires in yet another 145 and that trio ahead of him yet again Petrucci was a bit wide in turn two. That's going to make, mean that Dobby can get him in the positions in the championship of Dobby and Miller. Oh, I don't think so. I think it's too early. Air contra box window. The rain starting to fall here again over the Bugatti circuit in Le Mans. The Rins. Yeah, Rins is going to be with these guys very, very soon. This would do him a few favours in the world championship as well. At the moment, it's number nine, Danilo Petrucci, that lead in the year 2019. There's Piero Terramasso there, just in the background behind Ken Kawachi. What ties that is auctioning. <laughs> Team communication to Andrea De Vizioso. He's not being followed by Zumbi, number 42, because Alex Rins is starting to hunt down those three Ducatis ahead of him. But over a third race distance. And again, 45.6 from Alex Rins. Yeah. He's just a second and a half. Massive laps now in the 45s, and the Ducatis ahead of him can't do 45s. Petrucci got close on that last lap. Down the hill, into La Chapelle. 18 laps to go. Miller being given the information. They will know how good Alex Rins was in rain conditions in 2018. He was superb in that but further back down the order. Juan Mir at the moment, 19th, 48 1. He's just so, so far off the pace right now. 145s at the moment. Alex Rins and Alex Marquez. The two Alexes going for it. Marquez is right on the tail of the place in a moment. It yeah, looks like through Shimano Berth, you can clearly see how it's on our camera lens into the S Blur section, and it's the blue Satsuki of Alex Rins that's really started the All Ducati's now being informed of the speed of Alex Rins. There's another fastest lap coming in here from Alex Rins. It's a okay, game that's now 4.45s in a row. Polis Bargaro has just sent the fastest lap of the race off. Bradley Smith. Big, big high side on Friday, wasn't it, in the afternoon session?
session in mixed conditions at turn number 11 and Smith was pushing on strong that front end trying to find a way through he knows this is lap time that for Thomas Bargo to be quicker than Alex Rins at this stage of the race you really have found some confidence in the on board now with uh, Team X star Suzuki rider Alex Rins who was peaking tyres have done a few more than one lap but he's got brilliant rhythm right now and he'll know that he's got all the time between Miller in third and Rins back in fourth. Meanwhile, Quattararo then is still out of the points. Here, finally, though, getting into the 46s, which is much, much faster now, courtesy of Smith's early exit. Again, Thomas Bargaro betters in a 45-229 from the Red Bull KTM rider for the first time. And Thomas Bargaro He's starting to look a bit of a threat here, isn't he? We're still coming into this weekend. He's so, so desperate to record a victory for KTM before he jumps into perhaps the Honda next year. Spargo feels like he's not a serious championship contender. So time to throw a bit more caution to the wind. Another rider who's got impressive speed as well. Charan Zarko, Takanakagami, both entered the race as favourite in the dry, and quite rightly. But this was not part of the script at all. Joan Zarco making light work then of his compatriot into those first couple of corners. He's got comparative lack of experience on the Ducati in these conditions. So uh, Zarco here. This might be tenth place, medium, medium for him as well. This is up the pace. Alex Rins, 44.959. Best lap of the Grand Prix so far. Six there, but that's already come down. On board with Rins now, then number 42. Whose pony might just smell another victory here. Yeah, he might be breaking some Bologna hearts here as well. They're just Ducati. Party right now. All of these guys behind the top three Ducatis are faster than the Ducatis at this particular. Cal, Crutchlow, Alex Marquez, and Miguel Oliveira all lapping quicker than Petrucci, Dobby, and Miller. Yeah, Peco and Yara as well now started to reel in Fabio Quattro. Last lap around the Italian. But at the moment, nowhere near the point scoring places, 17th, although he has just put in much, much quicker than Petrucci. But his rhythm is finding a little bit too late. Anymore, of course, as well, he's been very, very wary about getting temperature in the tyres. This is the first lap, turn three, we're going to see did it, the doctor down in the dumps. He's just going to lose the rear here, Rossi, look at that, just came round on him. Rick Vinales did also. That's straight away on the back foot with the two spot. Oh, it comes through. It'll be done at turn seven. Up the inside. The door's open. Rins moves into third. But he runs wide. Yeah, he's done all the hard work to get onto this lead battle. Alex Rins now doesn't want to do anything too. On the acceleration out onto the back straight. You're not going to get past the Ducati. This is where the Ducati's at its strongest. But as we get into through turn nine, change of direction. The Suzuki will be much faster through here on the power. 734 on that last lap. Half a second quicker than Rins. He's now got to within two seconds of this. He's extended his lead. I mean, OK, there's a lot of riders going faster at the moment, but it's still to Patrici leading. He can generate those heat in the tyres and keep it there. But he has not made a mistake. So group ahead of him. Well, Mir, my well, see Fabio Cotteraro, actually. Rider on that last lap. Guess who? Alex Marquez, again, the rookie in sixth place. And a relative novice in these kind of conditions, doesn't he? Marquez, kudos to the Repsol Honda man. For the four riders fighting it out for victory as it stands with 13 laps to go. Yeah, mere about three. So you're right, Steve, he will be sniffing a little joust here with his main championship rival, Fabio Quattro. Third faller in these very tricky conditions with Rossi, Smith, and now the back down as well. Their cards as yet in these tricky conditions in Le Mans, in the wet. No one expected a wet pro. It's not far away, is he? That gap. The fan wall there, they're getting excited, particularly number seven. Chris Vimulin on the Suzuki winning a famous wet weather Grand Prix here. Back into turn three. So Mil uh, Miller back into fourth place. Rings now sets. Dominic Grivio. It was a wonderful weekend for him in Catalonia two weeks ago. Ricky Ryder on the top step. Yeah, now this will give at least Miller a chance. Mia making light work. It's looking good now, isn't he? And Miller, he retaliates straight away. Then on Alex Rins down in the breaking shot now, down to Shimon the world. Dobby's just reeled in to Trucci a bit. Look how close these guys further back are. Alex, the win it started, shot hand down again as well. Can you believe this? Alex Marquez is on an absolute shot. It would be one of the rides. 
just of the year of the decade if Alex Marquez gets this. It would be a good win at some point this year. We didn't think it would be the number 73, but he's having a ride. Go ahead. Fastest lap of the race, Alex Marquez at 44.2. That is 1.3 seconds. That lead for They've come from a long, long way back. The two Spaniards, former Moto2 world champions, for speed at this stage of the race. There's still 11 laps to go here in the bar. Plenty of time. Ample time. There's some spice left in this French Grand Prix as yet. Dropping down here with that old head. Wise old head on those shoulders of Andre Di Vizioso. How much more is he pushing as hard as he possibly can to keep himself on the coattails of his teammate? Well, important this is for the World Championship, especially with Fabio Quattararo down in 11th place. But the tail unit of that Red Bull factory KTM, the number 73. Yeah. Well, you can't really rule out any rock. Got 10 laps to go here. In the box. Still Petrucci that leads. Petrucci, Dobby, Miller and Rins all set. Yeah, the fastest lap of the top seven is Miguel Oliveira now in seventh. Amazing, isn't it? You really do have a lucky cat here because he's riding absolutely out of his skin at the moment. You have to take for what would be a sensation for a fully deserved podium. Potentially, it's gone down. Better. Who's gone in this top group? Because we're watching them, but someone has. Every time you hear those sort of scraping noises of his world title hopes, more with Dalian down then at turn four by the looks of it. To really get on terms to show Dovi a wheel yet. It's been as you were for quite some time. Or is it out of turn four? Uh, that camera's dangling as well down from the back of that Petronas Yamaha SRT machine. They're now back in time. Very interesting. What's the gap then between those riders over the line? Miguel Oliveira in eight. He's three points to wheels. Dolby picks up the batter now and leads here in France. He's oh, wide on exit. Here comes Danilo Petrucci. They all have oh, twins as well. This race is on here in France. Who wins this one? Any one of seven riders. Dolby. Oh, what's up in the clutch? Oh, he's gone down. What a shame. He was in great rhythm. He was in. Oh, Danilo, and he's going to go a bit deep here. This is going to allow Miller in. This is just all playing into the hands yeah, of Thomas Bayer exactly. and Alex Marquez. Yeah, they want to put his arm yeah, up. He's, he's going to allow him back through. Davizioso got picked up by Rins and Miller on the inside. Well, can you believe it? Now, has Miller got to drop another place, or has he dropped enough? Bayer and Alex Marquez are in this. Well in it. And there'll be eight laps to go as we cross the line. They're on the inside of Ridge, brave into the first corner. Jack Willow, we know, certainly not lacking bravery and not lacking four rims into turn three. Well, Dobby was the big loser there, wasn't he? Leading, coming out hot. And look how far rims came through here. Look, rims coming from way, way. Alex rims. Keep that upright. That front tyre would have been crying for mercy, screaming for mercy. Going in, he kind of ended up third on the way out, but Dovi will feel maybe differently about that. Here's Polish Bargro and Alex. Bargro, Bay. Jack Miller's got a problem. Hand oh, off from Jack Miller. Miller. Hand off from Miller. Has he got some kind of problem? Oh, I wasn't sure. Yeah. Oh, oh Miller. What a disaster no. for his world championship. Can you believe it? And the win. What a shame you have to feel for Jack Miller. A great chance of winning in Jerez at the start of the season. That's cruel for Miller. Does anybody want to win this 2020 World Championship? Point that goes in favour of Fabio Quattro. By the way, Stefan Bradley is now just behind him. Juan Mir's made another point. Come on! Smoke. There's going to be no repeat of Christian Mullins' heroics here 13 years ago. Rins is, and Alex Rins has crashed out of the podium. What drama here. Jack Miller has a mechanical thing. With the motorcycle giving up on him, can you believe Jack Miller's luck? And Fabio Quattararo, a mechanical problem, has put him out. And Alex Marquez can win this French Grand Prix. Thriller. I understand why. Well, it was a great chance of winning. And now look at the gap that Petrucci's got. We may well have in France. But what we do know, we're not going to get an old Ducati podium, unfortunately, after that exit for Jack. No, they've seen it so many times. And Marquez do the business in MotoGP on a Repsol Honda. But his younger brother, Edge Grand Prix, his lead, 2.7 yeah. seconds. He's bolting. He's quicker than any of them at the moment as well. A 44. Up through to turn three, then. Where do you start to dissect oh, this way through on Maverick Vinales? These are vital World Championship points to stake between these two, aren't they? But Vinales is having this. Vinales. Wow, catch your breath. Miller out with a mechanical when on the podium. Rins out against contention when he crashed as well. Rins 
I've got yeah, going again. Rejoined, but two. That's just dangerous carting that around the circuit with you. So I don't think the Rins will be continuing for much longer. Right there, and it's just reeled in to Trucci by a couple of tenths. Has he now regrouped the number four? Talk about experience. Wow. It's the master and the apprentice in many ways. It really is. Strap on the back of Alex Rinder Suzuki. Strap before this. Andrea De Vizioso knows that these are precious world championship points at stake for him with Fabio Pace. That is a very seventh. He's not close enough to have a say in this battle right now, but based on what we've seen in the last 10 minutes. So, nothing between the lap times of Dovi and Marquez. They both did 44 fives. Find him because he just said his personal best lap of the Grand Prix than the Vizioso. Zarco went for medium, medium, dropping He's in on a big charge. star, Steve. Petrucci now just the 1.6 seconds clear. Dovi has started to really show Dovi to win a race like this, wouldn't it? And he's thrown himself back into the World Championship, which cannot be well bad. This is a closer look at Dobby. Seven seconds, three seconds to three. Black flag. No great surprise there with the orange disc to tell him he's got a mechanical. He's obviously been so weak to Trichy. He did a 145, and Dobby did a 144.7 again. Zarco. Okay. Incredible pace by Zarco, who has not got a lot of wet track time, has he, on that Ducati. He's in. He's actually wrapped around his rear onboard camera. Well, that could notice it, hasn't it? Meanwhile, he's gone back out on circuit again to try and pick up any available. Seconds clear. In fact, he's now 1.3. Dovi and Co are closing. And Thomas Bargaro now. Can you imagine? Let alone win this Grand Prix because Dovi is dragging Marquez Espargaro and Oliveira with him for Petrucci. It's getting a bit twitchy, Red Bull KTM, aren't they? They can see that Paul Espargaro is on the brink. Oh, Dovi was out. The, the uh, seat there he, for Dovi. He really was. Yeah, that was a big attack. Dovi in to record him on. He fancies this, doesn't he? Just give it to that little bit of break on that last lap. He could do a 44 and then he did a 44-5. Sarko again. Side by side, Alex Marquez with Andrea De Vizioso. That will give him the inside line into La Chapelle, but closing the... Marquez is through. He's up into second place. Oh, how many times have we seen that for Brother Mark? Find a way through to claw back a 1.8 second deficit on De Petrucci. Again, more movement. Is he struggling for grip in the closing stage of this French Grand Prix? Which is the welcome problems now late on here. And somehow Quattararo would extend. Thankfully, we've still got five races still to go. Now, Da Vincioso desperately trying to hang on to a very open gun there. Look at he's going to be full of admiration for the job that his man Alex Marquez is doing right now. Simply coming out the final corner. Alex Marquez has dropped it. Dobby, yeah, he's got no grip, Dobby. Up the inside, and Dobby now not even on the podium. No, he's running out of the ecstatic. Alex Marquez is just 1.2 seconds down on Danilo De Tri Another four or five laps and Joe Zarco could win this. He really he's stuck in, stuck in the fastest lap of the race from the Frenchman Zarco. The Dobby, look at Dobby's rear tyre. Yeah, it's completely it's through. Defenceless right now. And that just helps out Fabio Oliveira. They're about to come through sector three. Let's check the gap between Petrucci and the job of keeping that 1.2 second buffer. Surely Petrucci can hold on to a one. Spargo's got some speed here as well. And what can Dobby salvage? We start the final lap of the... Dobby's really made a mistake in the turn 13. So the gap between Petrucci and Marquez has stayed at that 1.2. Incredible result. I'll take that. Davizioso somehow is still keeping Miguel Rivera behind him. In the wet, in a race before Alex Marquez. This is just simply yeah. outstanding. So easy to make a mistake, so easy to crash. He's been flawless and formidable in this. It's the same for Oliveira. It looks like Oliveira is having the same kind of rear tyre problems that Davizioso is having. The key race in France, and it's now Petrucci's to lose. Further back, Stefan Mears Bardel. Gonna try yeah, Mears gonna eyes at the front in the final sector, Danilo Petrucci. He has yeah. gone through so much in the last year. In Saxon Ring last year, as Mir and Quattararo scrapped it out for, can you believe, ninth yeah. place. Yeah. In Le Mans. Take your hat off, take a bow. Danilo Petrucci has won. Fargo on the Red Bull KTM. Credit to Quattararo as well because he's going to keep Vinales and Mir. Both the line together. 
Ecstasy, ecstasy down in the Repsol Honda garage for Alex Mark. The plaudits will go to Petrucci, and quite rightly so. He did so much at the front running in that French group. Marquez and Paulus Bargaro. Well, if you thought you saw tears in Mugello last year, wait for this, came to an end, and he was told he's going to no longer be a factory Ducati rider. His back has been well and truly up against...